Hey guys, what's up? It's Aposex here, and today I'll be doing a speed test between the iPad 2 and the iPad 3rd generation. Now, as you guys might know, this video is a little bit overdue, but I thought it'd be better to do it now than later, just because there are still a lot of people considering buying the iPad 2 over the iPad 3, obviously because of the price difference, but I want to go ahead and take a look at the speed aspect of both of these devices to see whether the iPad 3rd generation or the iPad 2 is really faster than the other. So let's go ahead and power these devices off and then we'll do a boot up test as our first test. So as you can see, both of them turned off at about the same time. We're gonna hold the power button, press them at the same time, and they will start to boot up. As you can see, the iPad 2 did get off to a little bit quicker start, while the iPad 3rd generation obviously was a little bit slower. Now as a reminder, the iPad 2 is rocking a dual core A5 chip in dual core graphics, whereas the iPad 3rd generation is rocking the A5X chip, which has dual core CPU and quad core graphics. As you can see, the iPad 2 did boot up a little bit quicker. Let's see how much quicker. The iPad 3rd generation is still booting up, and there we go. So as you can see, the iPad 2 did boot up a little bit quicker. Let's go ahead and slide to unlock, and let's go ahead and start off with Safari. But before we do that, let's go ahead and go to settings, and let's go ahead and clear all the cookies and all that information just so we have a fair test. By the way, both of these are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, so that'll also make it a fair test. Let's go ahead and launch it up and let's go ahead and just go to apple.com. There's Apple and we're going to go. So as you can see, they got off to the start at about the same time. And as you can see, they're roughly the same speed, but the iPad 2 did have a slight advantage. Let's go ahead and click link on this page. How about the new iPad? And there you go. Finished at about the same speed. Really, they were just neck and neck. And let's click on one more link right here. Let's learn more about the Retina display. And they're going, they're going, and iPad 3, or the iPad 3rd generation, is a little bit ahead. And as you can see, the iPad 2 did finish a little bit quicker. So let's go ahead and launch up another site here. Let's try something like Engadget. I'm going to type that in. And we're going to hit go at the same time, and here we go. So let's load up Engadget. As you can see, they're about the same speed. We're gonna load these web pages. As you can see, it's a pretty uh, complex web page, a comp a complex web page with a lot of images going on and advertisements and stuff like that. And as you can see, right again, about the same speed. Let's go ahead and try out one more site here just to uh, do something. Let's go ahead and do uh, let's go ahead and do apposex.com, obviously my website. And we're going to hit go. And we're going to let these load up. Obviously, this is a mobile website, but as you can see, the iPad 2 did finish just ever so slightly ahead of the iPad 3rd generation. So as you can see, Safari web browsing, you're not going to see a big difference in any of the devices. Let's go ahead and just launch up the App Store just to see how quickly each of them open up. Obviously, they open up to different pages, so let's go ahead and load Featured at the same time. We're going to load Featured, and the iPad 2 did finish maybe a little bit quicker. Actually, they finished at about the same time once they fully loaded the web page or the App Store page. I did hit top charts on the iPad 2 a little bit earlier, but as you can see, there really isn't that much of a speed difference in the App Store. Let's go ahead and try a game like Real Racing, as that is supposedly where the iPad 3 will have a little bit more of an advantage. So we're going to load up Real Racing 2 HD on both of these devices here. As you can see, the iPad 3rd generation is off to a better start. We're going to hit that, skip the video, skip the video at about the same time so that way it is a fair test. And we're going to let Real Racing load up. Real Racing 2 HD, very good game by the way. And this one did have the Welcome Back App OS X a little bit quicker. As you can see, the iPad 2 did load up faster than the iPad 3rd generation. As you can see, they are a little bit different backgrounds, but still that shouldn't make that much of a difference. Let's go ahead and launch up TweetBot. TweetBot's another good application, but not quite as intensive as Real Racing 2 HD. We're gonna let both of these load up. As you can see, the iPad third generation loaded up a little bit quicker. And as you can see, let's just do a quick scrolling test. As you can see, the scrolling appears to be a lot smoother, in my opinion, on the iPad third generation. Not to say that it's not smooth on the iPad 2, but it does seem to be a little bit more fluid on the iPad third generation. Now let's go ahead and see how quick it takes to launch up the camera. Now most people will not even use the camera on the iPad 2. 
and few will use it on the iPad third generation, but you know, if you have new camera on the iPad third generation, you might actually use it because it is very, it is a very good camera. And as you can see, both of them launched at the same time. And if we switch to video mode, they both switched to video mode at about the same time. So let's go ahead and launch up something else here. Let's go ahead and try GarageBand. Let's do that. I'll load up GarageBand here. iPad third generation off to a little bit better start and it's loading ever so slowly and there we go iPad third generation did finish at a faster speed than the iPad 2. Let's go ahead and launch something else let's say uh, let's go ahead and try iMovie. iMovie is another good application that's pretty intensive as you can see the iPad 3 or the iPad third generation does load up a little bit quicker than the iPad 2. Now let's just go ahead and take a look at some random applications uh, between the two. Let's go ahead and launch the uh, games folder here. And let's go ahead and launch, you know, Angry Birds. So we're going to launch Angry Birds HD. As you can see, the iPad third generation does seem to load up um, applications just by uh, time between pressing the button and actually launching the application faster than the iPad 2. But like I said, there really isn't that much of a difference. As you can see, there does appear to be a difference right here. But in terms of speed, these devices are very close um, to each other. Well, the iPad 2's performance is on par with the third generation iPad, it should be noted that the third generation iPad is powering four times more pixels than the iPad 2. This does require quad-core graphics, uh, more RAM, and things like that. So what Apple has done is they've maintained the fluidness of the iPad 2 and what it's known for and how fast the device actually is and kept that speed with the addition of the Retina display. Because the Retina display is really what makes the iPad 3 or the iPad 3rd generation such a great tablet and makes it capable of producing amazing graphics and amazing games. So like I said, Apple did maintain the speed between these devices, so don't let speed be a factor between purchasing the iPad 2 or the iPad 3rd generation, because in essence, there really isn't any speed difference at all. It's really minor across the board. So that's it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at iAppOSX. Add me on Game Center as AppOSX. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.